I'm Tom Fuchs, Senior Construction Manager for the Metro Flood Diversion Authority, back with a progress update on the FM Area Diversion Project. Drivers throughout the area have likely noticed work along Interstate 29, whether traveling north or south out of Fargo-Moorhead. On the south side, Industrial Builders is working on raising a four-mile stretch of the road out of the 500-year floodplain. With the southbound lanes recently completed and traffic shifted onto the new alignment, the northbound bypass is now being removed. Crews have also removed existing pavement, completed the grade raise, and are paving the last remaining portions of the northbound lanes near the County Road 18 interchange. Work is anticipated to wrap up by the end of the year. About 26 miles north of there, ASN Constructors is building an I-29 bypass of its own. Recently, portions have been paved and southbound traffic is now diverted. In the coming weeks, traffic will remain staged as work continues to extend the bypass lanes across the median and fully tied in. Similar work is occurring nearby as the County Road 81 bypass is expected to open to traffic by the end of this month. Once all traffic shifts are complete, ASN will focus efforts on constructing new bridges spanning across the stormwater diversion channel. You might be surprised to learn that if you continue driving north for more than 100 miles, you may encounter another FM Area Diversion Project site. In Drayton, North Dakota, HSG Park Joint Venture is working on the Drayton Dam for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They removed the Drayton Dam structure and constructed a new dam 300 feet upstream consisting of a Rock Rapids fishway. It's the last dam on the Red River main stem to be improved to mitigate environmental impacts for fish. By placing riprap and boulders in a pattern, HSG created pools that allow fish to pass freely. This helps maintain biotic connectivity and improve river health while also promoting public safety for boaters. The project, which began in July 2022, will wrap up next year when landscaping is completed. Returning to the metro area, we can see continued earthwork on stretch 2A of the southern embankment. The 22-mile earthen barrier is being built in sections. 2A spans 2 miles and involves excavating 693,000 cubic yards of material enough to spread more than a foot deep across the entire 420-acre campus of Minnesota State University Moorhead. Once the southern embankment is completed, it will hold back water during project operations while the gated structures regulate the flows both into and around the metro area through the completed stormwater diversion channel. The largest of those structures, the Red River structure, is taking shape. Ames Construction is working on the abutments and approach wall footings and preparing to construct a temporary bridge across the Red River. At the Maple River Aqueduct location, ASN Constructors has completed excavation and placed layers of sand and gravel separated by geotextile and reinforced with geogrid below the structure's base. They also recently began driving the first of more than 48,000 lineal feet of H-piles to be installed at the various structures making up the aqueduct. Lastly, a quick update on the Drain 30 inlet to the stormwater diversion channel. Concrete pipes are now installed and are partially backfilled. Crews are now forming concrete headwalls on the downstream end where the drain will empty into the channel. These are just some of our September highlights. You can always find more on our social media channels or by subscribing to our e-newsletter at www.fmdiversion.gov subscribe.